Well, I went to a flea market last weekend, and there was a guy there selling a whole bunch of BB guns. He claims he bought over 200 of them in a massive lot, and he's selling them for like 10 bucks a pop out of a barrel. So I grabbed all of them he had left. He had five left at the time. He said he would bring more this weekend, but um, I don't have any more money. I've been on eBay, and so it's gone. The first one I found at the flea market is the Daisy Powerline 990. Dual power, as usual. They're, when you find one, they're usually missing the CO2 cap, or what they call the puncture screw. And everybody kind of plays it off as, you know, it's not that great anyway to use the CO2. Looks like it's in really good shape. Not a lot of scratches. No cracks. The only thing I can really see wrong with it is the sight is rusted. Just the little plate that's the sight. It's rusted. That's the only thing on here. So I'm thinking someone probably put this on here from another gun. But other than that, it's pretty good. Then I got two Daisy Model 103s. This one's in really nice shape. I don't know how old it is because it does not have a serial number to cross-reference, so I'm guessing it's a little more modern. But it still has the little twist cap where you have to twist it to fill it up. I kind of like these. Those are cool. There's this one. And then there is this one, which was kind of a hodgepodge. It was silver, and you can... In some light, you can still see where there was pinstriping on it. There's a little swirl there, but I mean, it's so faded. Yeah, good luck. Now, this one had a stock on it just like this, except it was sawed off about here and had aluminum foil tape around the end, so it looked like crap. So I took a Daisy Buck stock that I had. I filled in where it said Buck. You can still barely read it. Painted it. And uh, it also had the wrong charging lever on it. It had this one on it for more of a, a red rider. So I stuck a modern buck plastic handle on there. It's a hodgepodge, but this is probably one of the nicer shooting ones I got in the lot. Now, let's put these up. Talk about the Model 36. They're all Rogers, Arkansas. Unfortunately, I didn't get any that were Plymouth. They weren't that old, so they're all after 58. This is probably 58, 59, in my opinion, because of the way the stock is and how heavy it is. It's just, it's made better. So, there's that guy. And then I got a... Daisy Model 1000, which this thing is an absolute curse, and I think I'm probably just going to give up on it. I replaced the forward cylinder seal. I had to replace the air tube itself that goes into the barrel. I cleaned the barrel. Everything's been oiled, taken apart, put back together. But it fires when you, when you it fires now. It didn't before. It would just kind of just and just that was the end of it. Nothing would come out of the barrel. But it is so damn inaccurate. Let me put it to you this way. You might hit the center of the target one time, and then the next time you're 12 inches off target, and then it hits maybe off center a little bit, and maybe down to the left, and then it's four feet off target, and you got BBs ricocheting all around the garage. This thing has problems. And I imagine the shot tubes just wore out. Maybe someone was firing pea gravel or something out of it. But this thing... It's a good wall hanger. I don't recommend using the 1000. Anyway, let me know what you think of the recent finds. I'm going to try to get back out there to the flea market and grab some more. He says he has 90% uh, of them at his house because he kept all the nice ones over there. And he said I could come out and look at them next time I'm out there. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.